all, this is Brian with Vermilion Enterprises. Uh, Friday, September 20th, 2024 is the date. Gold broke 2600 this morning, and silver is back over $31 per ounce. I expect a lot of volatility right now, and uh, you know, it makes it for an interesting day here in the shop, uh, to say the least. All right, uh, you guys and gals have been great. We've been slinging lots of deals, mostly buying, which is all right. Uh, we appreciate all that. Uh, we're making sure that we stay capitalized by burning through as much of this metal that is coming through the door as fast as we can. And uh, we're, we're here to buy, folks. So uh, keep bringing and dumping that metal on us because uh, we need and want it. So uh, we look forward to a very busy weekend, I imagine. I imagine a lot of people are going to be cashing out over the next uh, week or two. And uh, I imagine we're going to get dumped on again today. We bought a ton of silver yesterday. And I don't imagine that's going to slow down anytime soon uh, with it being at $31 an ounce and over $31 an ounce right now. So... It's going to be a lot of fun coming up and uh, probably a lot of backbreaking hours with uh, moving all this silver around. All right, so it's Friday. Uh, I figured we'd send you guys and gals off into the weekend with a premiums update. I will say, as volatile as this market is, we reserve the rights 100% to change our premiums anytime we want. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, we try to keep you guys and gals as updated as much as we can, but things do change in the market and we 100% reserve the right to change our uh, premiums as the market changes. So as long as the refineries keep offering the same or near to the same rate uh, on silver bullion, at the at the time that uh, as they are right now we'll keep our premiums where they are once they start to drop those premiums uh drop their buy rates uh, which i think is coming because of the glut of silver that is getting dumped on them or they start delaying payment uh at that point in time we'll have to reconsider our premiums but right now we're going to hold fast uh, and see what the uh, market brings us remember uh, we are Vermilion Enterprises, 5324 Spring Hill Drive in sunny Spring Hill, Florida. We are open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., and uh, it's busy. So uh, please, if you bring stuff into the shop, please have it already organized. Uh, if it's in two-by-twos and airtights, please have it stripped all out of that because we're going to have to do that before we can buy and verify so if it's in you know, silvers and tubes or you got your gold eagles and tubes, leave that. That's fine. But two by twos and airtights and stuff, please uh, preemptively remove that before you come on in into the shop. Because uh, if, you know, if you do come in with the shop with a bunch of that stuff, we're just going to have you remove it right then and there uh, before we can process it. And so and that will help it expedite your time here in the shop. All right, let's uh, update. Uh, you know what? I don't think there's any updates, but we'll just run through the premiums one, uh, one time here pretty quick today. Nothing new in the way of premiums. So let's just run it down real quick here for them, Tim. One ounce gold eagles, one ounce gold buffaloes. <clears throat> we are still buying them at the spot price of gold, folks, and selling them at the spot price of gold plus 4%. No changes there. That's for BU Retail Friendly Material, of course. Uh, foreign gold and gold bars. We are buying them at the spot price. Uh, we're buying them at 98% of the spot price or 98% of melt if it's fractional. So this includes your gold maple leaves, your Krugerrands, your kangaroos, your pandas, all the modern bullion stuff. And of course, bars, uh, any size up to an ounce. And also your older foreign gold, like your sovereigns and your pesos and your marks and your francs and whatever else uh, might be out there, your lira. Uh, coronas, uh, ducats, any of that type of material, we're buying at 98% of melt. So if you have a material like that, hey, it's over $2,600 an ounce right now. If you've been thinking about dumping it, <laughs> it's kind of a seller's market right now. So uh, we'll be happy to help with that. Uh, fractional uh, gold eagles, one tenth ounce gold eagles, we're still buying at melt plus 4%, sell at melt plus 11%. Quarter ounce gold eagles are buying at melt plus 2%, selling at melt plus 9%. Half ounce gold eagles are buying at melt, selling at melt plus 7%. Again, that's all for retail BU material. 
you got jewelry grade or pocket pieces, we're going to treat it as foreign gold and just burn it at 98%. But for your BU retail friendly material, those are our prices. Platinum. One ounce Platinum Eagles, which you see there is what I got. Uh, where we are buying one ounce Platinum Eagles at the spot price of Platinum plus $50 per ounce. And we're selling for the spot price of Platinum plus $110 per ounce. We have $10 Liberties in the shop, folks, graded by PCGS and NGC, MS61s and MS62s. We are selling these at melt plus 7%. If you're unsure about how to calculate the melt value of fractional precious metals, please check out the video that Tim has pinned to the top of this channel and also embedded as a link in the description of this video. $20 lids, $20 saints, MS61s, MS62s, we are selling for the melt price plus 4%. Remember, $20 gold coins are not one ounce gold coins. They are 0.9675 ounces of actual gold weight. We are selling these at melt plus 4%. These are all NGC or PCGS graded. You will see multi-generational holders on these. Uh, MS63 Saints, we are selling at melt plus 5%. So that's for your MS-63 Saints. I am out of MS-63 Libs. So it is just uh, Saints at the MS-63 price, or MS-63 grade. Melt plus 5% on those. Very popular SKU. I got to restock our uh, trays up front. Uh, Morgan Silver Dollars. Uh, common date, Morgan Silver Dollars from 1878 to 1904, MS-63s were selling for 70, MS-64s were selling for 90, MS-65s were selling for 165. That's for common date, NGC and PCGS graded Morgan Silver Dollars from 1878 to 1904. These are random. These are common date. They are all going to be NGC or PCGS graded. They will not be NX or ICG graded at those price points. We do have those coins here in the shop, but we do price them cheaper than we do in GC and PCGS. Again, remember, there can be various levels of tonings on these coins. They are common date and they are 100% random. So it's this, uh, you know, a skew that we're offering. And with, I got to say, some surprisingly uh, popular items. So uh, we are moving these. We are uh, uh, happy to do so and we're Happy to offer another skew for everybody. All right, let's get into the uh, bulk of what's pouring through the door right now. Generic silver. We got a bunch of one ounce bars, uh, retail friendly uh, uh, packaged material from the refineries. This stuff we're selling at the spot price plus 50 cents per ounce. That includes solid date tubes of rounds. Also, those are gonna be blast, right, blast white rounds. They will not be milky. All right, this material we're buying at the spot price minus a dollar per ounce, and we're selling it at the spot price plus 50 cents per ounce. That's for retail friendly material. That's for your bars that are still factory sealed. That's for your rounds that are solid design tubes that are not milky or overly toned or all scratched up. So nice retail friendly material. Now, if it's ugly, off quality material, you know, milky, mix match tubes, that type of material, scratched up, overly toned material, we're buying this stuff at the spot price of silver minus $1 per ounce, and we're selling for the spot price of silver. That also includes five ounce bars, that includes 10 ounce bars, that includes kilo bars and kilo coins and kilo rounds and uh, 100 ounce bars too. I don't have any hundreds in stock right now, but we got some kilos as you can see. Uh, we got plenty of 10 ounce bars. We even got a 20 ounce bar there. I think that's a, what, a pit bull or a pit boss 20 ounce bar, Tim? I really don't like the, the design of those. Uh, what is that brand, Tim? Can you even see it? The way the pit bullion, pit, pit bullion. Uh, yeah, it must be a new brand uh, material out there. The bars, uh, I don't really like how they have that dimpling in them because it really makes them kind of hard to read. But hey, if you're interested in that stuff, save it from the fire because uh, Monday, if it's still here, it's gone. So if you uh, if you want to buy some of that material, you can get it at the spot price of silver per ounce. If you want it, if you want us to ship it, it's still spot price of silver per ounce, but you do cover shipping. So, uh, and then off quality foreign silver, we got a bunch of this. The, we just have to process it and uh, get it out. Uh, but we got a bunch of off quality silver rounds or silver coins that are foreign that we will sell you at the spot price of silver. American Silver Eagles, Tim. 
We got uh, one ounce uh, American Silver Eagles random off coin material. We're still buying at the spot price of silver plus a buck. That might actually change here pretty soon. I might just drop that to the spot uh, and because there's so much of it pouring in now. Uh, and we're selling at the spot price of silver plus $2.50 per ounce. Uh, so that's going to be your off quality, milky, uh, random, overly toned material. All that stuff we are selling at the spot price of silver plus $2.50 per ounce. Now, if you're looking for solid date, retail friendly, last white coins that are not milky, we're buying those at the spot price of silver plus $2.50 per ounce and sell them for spot plus $4 per ounce. So those are going to be solid date tubes. Uh, so it means all the coins in the tube are going to be the same date. We're going to be selling those at the spot price of silver plus uh, $4 per ounce. We buy those at spot plus $2.50 per ounce for the time being. Last but not least, Junk Silver Tim. We are selling it at spot. Uh, it's going to be quarters. We got a handful of halves, a handful of dimes uh, process, but we're selling Junk 90 at spot count on quarters. Uh, and we buy junk 90 at the spot price of silver minus one dollar per ounce still all right guys and gals uh started burning 90 again uh, yesterday uh over the last two days i've burned over two bags i think 2000 face 2500 face something like that big lick getting to the refinery again today no buyers so we're burning it and uh yeah, I know a lot of people bellyache and cry about that, but until there are buyers for the material at the level that it's coming in, we got to get o uh, our overage out the door. So uh, remember, guys and gals, if you uh, want to buy Junk 90 and have it shipped, please buy at least 30 face at a time. If you want to buy silver, uh, generic silver or silver eagles or foreign silver, buy at least 20 ounces at a time. Uh, make it worth your while and our while as well. And I think that covers it. Oh, how do we accept payment? We accept payment via cash, wire, Zelle, personal checks up to $5,000. Uh, we do hold the checks up to two weeks before we ship the material to make sure they securely clear. We also accept scrap metal for uh, payment of stackable precious metals. Also, we can just cash you out if you prefer. We pay 90% of value on carotid gold. So if you got that old 10 carat, 14, 18, 22 carat, even pure gold jewelry, even eight, nine carat gold, we will pay you 90% of its value based on the purity and the weight at the time you bring it in or it arrives. Uh, please remember though, jewelry is considered a secondhand good in the state of Florida. So we do have to uh, report it uh, to the sheriff's department. We will need a copy of your driver's license or state ID card that is up to date. If you're bringing in a shop, please just remember to bring your ID with you. We also buy sterling silver flatware, sterling silver rounds, tableware, hollowware, and tea sets. Uh, we also pay 90% of value based on purity and weight. Uh, when you bring it in. And if you prefer this for us to pay you for it, that's fine. If you prefer to exchange it for stackable bullion, we can do that also. Uh, we uh, do both uh, regularly. Uh, people, uh, it's, you know, it's good to see people preserving their wealth by turning in their scrap and exchanging it for, a lot of people are exchanging it for silver eagles right now, which is pretty cool. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in doing that, please reach out to the shop. We'll be happy to help. So if you got old stuff laying around that's like this, you know, old uh, mismatched earrings, old bands, uh, stuff that's broken, don't wear anymore, uh, you know, old necklaces, you know, gold's over $2,600 an ounce right now. You know, obviously that can change and will change, uh, but a good time to cash that type of material, especially if you can't wear it, don't wear it, don't like it, out of date, whatever. Let's turn it into money for you or turn it into stackable precious metals for you. We're happy to do either. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I, what do I expect over the next uh, week or so? Uh, just for uh, people to continuously dump material on us, which we are happy to do so. I pretty much have changed the dynamic over here in the shop just to function on that. A uh, you know, lot less buyers out there than sellers and definitely in volume. So, uh, you know, people are still coming in and, and buying, uh, you know, silver here and there, but nowhere near at the volume that it's being dumped on us. And so, uh, and that's understandable. 
So silver is over $30 an ounce right now. And a lot of people are in the black on it finally. And so they're like, hey, let me get out from underneath this. Let me uh, get my money back out, get this capitalized into something else, or just to uh, you know turn it into something else that uh, bullion wise that they prefer to keep rather than uh, you know bulk generic silver. A lot of people have been turning their bulk generic silver into gold eagles and gold buffaloes. A lot of people have been turning their foreign gold into gold eagles and gold buffaloes, which is extremely smart, I believe, because. No tax implication on gold eagles, gold buffaloes, and silver eagles. Whereas if you're selling gold Krugerrands and maple leaves and pesos in bulk, if you sell 25 ounces or more at a time, uh, that triggers a form 1099B. And no one wants to do that, obviously. So uh, people have been systematically converting those foreign gold stacks into U.S. gold stacks, which is 100% smart, I believe. So, uh, but everyone's got their own, uh, you know, modus operandus. Is that what it is, Tim? Uh, that sounds good. There you go. Whatever makes sense for you, we'll be happy to help. Uh, what I am happy to see in the industry is it's not stagnating. Uh, these prices and these swings, uh, I think, definitely help uh, ward off the stagnation. But we have adopted the mentality here that we're going to be mostly buying. So uh, we'll be happy to transact in any way, whether you want to buy or sell. If you do want to buy something, great. We'll reach out to the shop. You can see what our prices are. Please note that everything that we sell, like 99% of the time is random material. It comes in random. Uh, it goes out random. Uh, I don't care what the design of a 10 ounce bar is when silver is at $31 an ounce. I don't care. It's 10 ounces of silver. That's the way I look at it. So um, in and out as fast as we can go. All right, folks, uh, you know, a lot of activity yesterday and I expect a lot more today and probably a lot tomorrow. So uh, if there's anything we do for you, please reach out to the shop. Tim, do you need to add anything? How many cups of coffee you had today? Uh, just one. Uh, I got another one on the route. Don't worry. That's, uh, it'll probably be a three banger. I'll probably have another one come in later on. Uh, so, yep, one, coffee cup, one cup of coffee so far today. And uh, we're going to need more, though. That's for sure. Uh, so, but it, I think everything else is good to go, Tim. Yes, sir. All right. If there's anything we do for you, folks, please uh, reach out to the shop. We'll be happy to help. Uh, remember, Monday through Friday, 9 to 4. Saturdays, 9 to 2. Remember, we're in the Eastern time zone. We, it's funny, we get a ton of calls between 4 and 6 p.m. Uh, here at Eastern Time. We're gone. Uh, if we're not gone, I don't answer the phone. So it's, uh, you know, you can leave messages if you like. But remember, we're in the Eastern Time Zone. So just keep that in mind. If you want to actually talk to us, please call before 4 p.m. Eastern. Mm, call before 3.45. Yeah, really call before 3.45. Uh, once we get down in the last 15 minutes, uh, things can be quite chaotic here in the shop. All right, guys and gals, you guys have a great weekend. Uh, we'll see you next weekend or next week. Thank you. Thank you.